Well, I'm Mary Jane around. She's uh, going to be my guide. Right, Mary okay. Jane? All right. They check the identification, proof of address, the first stop. This is a uh, proof of uh, residency. Uh, like, yeah. do they have to live here at the beach? Okay. We're going to do volunteer check-in now. Again, orientation. Okay, we're in, entering uh, the sanctuary. Let's uh, go take a look at some of the uh, the items available. Laura is our um, Laura is the person in charge of the over here. Yeah, we're the yeah, yeah. Yep. How long does it take to set up? It's a three day. Oh, all of the different things for three days. These are the these are the young professionals. Hey, young professionals. Thanks for doing this. No problem. Jane, is there a limit on the clothes that they're allowed? Huh? There is. What is the limit? I'm not sure. I can check in the volume. We first started in 1994. We served 250 families the first year with 25 volunteers and 120 dollars. But the, the same purpose of families coming and shopping, but with no money. Right. And and it's about you know making the families feel good and the children feel good. Uh, that's, uh, that's what's important about it. So if I if I, you could say something because I know you almost have to walk through it all mm -hmm. to, to get it. You yeah. know, yeah. Um, how do we encourage people to? participate or you don't have to. <laughs> the people at the beach have a tremendous heart <laughs> and go ladies. Went well. Was this your first time doing it? Yeah, it was. Really awesome. Had a blast. Yeah. It's great to help people. It's impossible. You cannot keep up with the thing. Just as soon as you keep folding, someone comes over and messes it up again. You guys refolding over here? Yeah. Okay. Need one more thing. That's a lot of clothes. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Are you part of this UNF group or are you a different group? No. We're just here to help. Have you done it before? Your first time doing it, huh? Yes, Who got you into it? Uh, Don't blame me. Is that Dad? Yep. Don't blame Dad? Don't blame me. <laughs> I'll have to hear about it. 
I volunteer for Beam already. I unload trucks with Beam. Oh, thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. So this isn't your first year. This is their first year, though, right? Well, I, it's my first year at this event, but I volunteer right. during the year unloading trucks. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, it's great. Great cause. So, so you're Hello. How was, how was the experience Very for you? Fun. Yeah, like I thought, it was a good experience. Very really good. Exhausting. Positive. Very good. Yeah. What time did you guys show up? Uh, we got here like 7. Yeah, about 7. And uh, I guess there's going to be another round of people coming through. Yep, yep. I think it's the last round, isn't it? No, I think there's a little bit more people. They, it's kind of a free-for-all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like so they're going to send us back out there and then come back in for a free-for-all. Right. So they're doing clothes, too. Now, you're handling the team men. Is that your responsibility? The extra large. The extra largest. It seems like the boys stuff went pretty yeah. pretty big. I don't think I can figure out the girls are more picky. Could be. Guys aren't that picky. <laughs> yeah, so Sue, how did it go today? It went very well. We have been very busy. We've had lots of people that are here. Anything different about this year from previous years? Well, we're going 30 minutes longer than we did last year, so... Right. But uh, in terms of, like, uh, clothes and books, and I mean, it, it looks like there's still plenty of stuff. There are plenty of older boys and older girls. It's always the younger boys and the younger girls that we run out of because their tools actually wear out faster, and so they are not passed on to us, but... What happens with the um, clothes when, they, um, when you finish the day off? These clothes are then donated to and they come and pick them up and then they take them to their missionary girl. Nothing goes wasted. Of course not. We've learned psychics. Complications taking flight. I never leave the ground. I would like to think that 